Good morning, everyone. It's Friday. This is Francis, your favorite amateur astronomer, 11.19 a.m. Central Daylight Time. It took me a while. I hope that this is informative. I hope it's interesting to you. But what this is and what you're going to be looking at are all the clear filter images that I've taken of Comet Ison to date, going all the way back to April and coming all the way up to October. And of course, I'm just gonna let this run for a little bit. I have to, this is the first time I've seen it myself, so um, I hope that it ends up being something interesting. Our earliest photos, I couldn't find it right away. And you see, I didn't see it. So I'm gonna try to back up a little bit. My computer, um, I'm afraid it's going to blow up at any time. Just fry. And I really don't want to pause it because I'm lucky. I guess we're going to have to zoom in. Where is it? I didn't see it. It's on there. i got to find it. It has a different tail than the rest of the images. These other images have a, have a longer tail than it did in April. I don't see it. Let's go back out. I thought it was um, important to bring out all the images so that at least we can say that um, we have been <clears throat> looking at it from uh, just... I don't, I, I'm not sure when it was discovered. See, well, I should be able to because the the definition of the name is the date and everything that it's been found and, and and what have you. But let's just say this: I started hearing about or hearing people take images of it in January. So our first images that were in April, um, and ever since then, of course, I have to find it on that one. I I don't know where to go with that. The first couple of ones were the shots from April 9th. <clears throat> Y'all are going to probably get bored of watching this comet flying by, but these also include yesterday morning's images, seven, seven shots. Before we get to that, now I've got that yellow ring on there. Once we get into the in-between, I'm not sure about the dates. I have it on record. Oh, I think it might be down here. Let's. I'm gonna put my ring over where I think the comet is in the first ones. I have to look again, though. No, no. <laughs> oh, it's cool. Also, that we have a uh, we caught a galaxy. I don't know which one. I know what this thing is. Where is that? I want to. I want to show that. I haven't even I haven't seen it myself in moving images. Okay, I suppose I should just stop and start. Some people want to see a close-up. Uh, I'm not quite sure. And I really can't mess with the centering. Or I'll end up messing it all up. I don't know. Where is it? Okay, so let's let, let's um, go over. Well, actually, let's go over news that I haven't researched. Um, 
a PHA, potentially hazardous asteroids, been found. Unlike I can't find that darn comet in those early pictures. We'll find it before I'm done. I've got 10 minutes. A uh, large asteroid found. They've got a, a, a risk factor on it still because they haven't confirmed the, um, the uh, orbit. Not quite sure how I can help there. There's other comets in, in space. I see uh, people imaging Comet Anki. Or if, if I'm saying that wrong, I don't know. It's E C no. I think it's E N C K E N K rather than Enki. I wanna find the what the heck is the comet in that thing? Jeez I'm crow. I'm gonna stop it again when it gets there. So what you're looking at, I, I mean, I haven't seen the full uh, range of photos taken from, okay, damn it, why is it going, uh, my problem is, is it's small. I guess it, it was small it just has a little coma a little, more of a baseball type coma and a, <clears throat> a little short fan tail let's see if she see it it should line up it should be there That's too bad. So, asteroid coming, uh, fixing uh, the orbital path to assure the world that um, it's not going to hit Earth. Again, I think I stated that I don't know what help I'm going to be. I'm really focused on Comet Ison uh, for the sheer uh, enjoyment of looking into space, which, I mean, I must have an, a, a reason to like what I'm doing. And I'm not liking the fact that I can't see <clears throat> I think I should be able to point it out because I know where it is but that's kind of far away ooh I still can't I mean this is my picture what's my problem jeez I'm crow did I not flip it or something? And I'm just, if you don't get these orientated right, it really stinks. There's a galaxy like that. I'm just gonna let this run the 15 minutes. You will like it or you won't like it. It's funny. You. It's gonna be not good because I can't find it over there in April, and you don't get a chance. Oh, maybe y'all have seen it. Why am I not? I don't know. Um, I think my friend John Zascota is coming to Houston this weekend. I have to clean the house. Uh, 
uh, you know those <coughs> photos there you go they're, they're, they are for you to go and find the comet where's Waldo where's Waldo the comet over in those first images which are were taken with T11 these are all with T4 I just uh, been using the same telescope and knowing exactly the type of image I'm going to get so that I can get as much comparison um, as I can from uh, each image. I wish I could see it. Where are you? It's not very smart. It's frustrating every time it goes by. Potentially hazardous asteroid stinks. Comet Ison, surely not having a problem making its way by Mars and on its way to Earth. It appears that as each day goes by and new images are taken, more and more professional and amateur astronomers are taken to the fact that yes we will get something come November and December that the northern hemisphere has yet to see in many moons um, of course there were comets to be seen in those daylights or in those lifetimes Ian Musgrave's uh, Kotek I think that was the name of it or hope I said that right that that's my error lack of no knowledge if it's wrong um, was a comet that he followed and so we go back and there's comets but right now there's Ison on its way past Earth past Venus past Mercury right in the hot seat of the Sun and hopefully on its way up and out of the solar system We'll have a period of time that we'll want to, that the Earth will take to get to where the comet has passed previously. Um, my hope would be for a meteor shower that was quite, quite dazzling. Um, our experience with the comet will have just started to subside the memories tucked away in uh, files of astronomical awe and then we'll have this period where we'll go through the tail not through the tail but potentially through material left behind um, left behind by the comet and pushed away from the comet by the sun Everyone seems to be agreeing about that now, that the comet's hanging together and and what ends up happening, even in the professional community at 13.22 minutes, 13 minutes and 24 seconds, I still have a little time, is that they want to be overly pessimistic and hold on to their findings entirely too long. Hmm. With that said, Hopefully there are reporters, when we know there are, because we see them on YouTube and we watch the videos and we, we get those reports from people like Suspicious Observers who report on news that many of us are interested in that does not get reported in mainstream, yet is important for people to be aware, uh, awake, and ready in the event of something uh, that would change their life forever. Too many people already get caught up in hurricanes and storms and fires and floods and whatever, right, already. So anything that will happen in the future will be either in a lesser effect, have a lesser effect on people or will have a greater effect on people. You need to know where you stand inside or outside our atmosphere still haven't found the comet in those earliest images i know where it's at i've seen it i've i've shown it um i suppose i could stop oh 1445 14 minutes 47 seconds uh hello everyone this video is going to come to an end i hope you have a great day talk to you later